Hello everyone, this is Relic Jones and welcome to uh, an original Xbox. I guess that should be uh, stated. Yes, we are going to play the Hobbit video game, not based on the, uh, the, the trilogy in which they made after Lord of the Rings, but a video game that was honestly released um, during the time of the Lord of the Rings releasing. I remember how cool this was. I have uh, my cousin Mikey to actually thank for personally reading to me the, uh, the entirety of the book. And then later in my life, I act it was one of the only books that I've actually, like novels, I actually sat down and read myself. Uh, with my reading disability, that's pretty... That, mean, that means a lot. This is the tale of Bilbo Baggins, a hobbit with no idea of the adventures about to befall him. I don't know if I'm getting or reverb. Their consequences. My friend. Oh, man. Gollum. It must know the way out! Hold on. Burn the tree. Yeah, some of these old cutscenes look pretty bad. <laughs> they have not aged well. Yeah, the Battle of Five Armies. Nice cinematic way to begin things. Let's start. New game. I don't know how long this first episode's going to be. It might be a two-parter split down the middle with no rhyme or reason. Some pretty hobbity stuff. The ground, there lived a hobbit. hobbit. Bilbo Baggins was a respected hobbit. Ah, he lived a comfortable life. They didn't life begin it the way I hoped. Any adventures. So Bilbo was rather surprised when Gandalf the wizard invited him on a great adventure. He politely declined. But not before accidentally inviting Gandalf to tea. <laughs> the next day, Very British. Gandalf arrived with 13 hungry dwarves. They ate everything Bilbo had to offer, then sang sad songs and listened to their king, Thorin Oakenshield. Yep. It was a shame that we didn't get most of those songs in the Hobbit movies. At dawn, but this is the key the one. We got this one at least. We didn't get burn the, the break the plates and burn the corks. Leave our treasure and revenge on the cursed dragon Smaug. King Thorin, you need a burglar to steal into Lonely Mountain. Here he is, Bilbo Baggins. Your party of fighters need a rogue. Excitable little fellow, but fierce as a dragon in a pinch. Sure, fierce. And we go through a dream sequence that becomes our tutorial. An interesting way of foreshadowing events into the future. Um... Hoping to find yeah. Where am I? Goblins attacking men and elves. What's this? Well, Baggins, you've dreamt your way into this. You'll have to dream your way out. Okay, hopefully I'm safe here. Let's talk about some of the literary stuff about the Hobbit. The idea of Gandalf going to the door of Bilbo is the idea of, and this is what uh, Tolkien actually wrote about, the idea of the past of the British people actually coming back to them, like them learning their roots. The whole idea of Lord of the Rings is supposed to be a mythos for Britain. And so that's a lot of the symbolism there. And I, I find it funny that it's just like, hey, here's the D&D party. I mean, d and based on this stuff. But like, yeah, I'm the wizard. Cough, cough. I'm not going to be here when you need me. <laughs> here's your rogue. I'm 
At last. I'm locked on to an enemy. X. Yes, X is my button to swing. You get major delay. Oh, you can hold it in to do a Link inspired attack. Yeah, the parry system ain't that impressive, I can tell you that. I'm getting just walloped. I wasn't expecting when I recorded this to just... Yeah, now I'm switching weapon items and I didn't even know I had them. Watch my bow staff be more impressive. Yeah, look, dude, I've like killed two people with my bow staff. A walking stick. It still should be hobbit size. Come on. There seems to be a delay when hitting the X button. I don't know if that has anything to do with how old my off-brand Xbox controller is. Yikes. Um, I don't think my purpose is to target them, is it? Did you just throw, like, a flask of alchemy fire at me? Yeah, I, I think there's something else. This is way too much for a starting thing. Where do I go? Nope. Am I supposed to go unconscious? Like, you notice I have no health, right? I just need a jumping strike and it got rid of some of my, I guess, action economy here. He just took an arrow to the chest. He aimed for the knee. Hobbit-sized jokes. So it's like, here's archers. Don't get hit by archers. And they're like, totally hitting me. Well, I'm definitely getting used to the fighting, but it, it seemed a little excessive. I think they reuse a lot of this later. So the idea is the song in which the dwarves saying to Bilbo woke up this need to have adventure. I guess there's a quest log if I forget. If I miss it, my attacks. Oh man, the age of terrible camera controls. Why do I do this to myself? Yeah, at, the, at this point of recording, I have no idea if this is supposed to be a let's play, or if this is just going to be like more filler for the channel. Definitely tell me if you like it. No one told me that they liked Spyro, and I continued it, though. <gasps> it did a thingy. I don't like that sound. That sound is like someone eating. I I'm expecting that jumping would make this faster. This is unnaturally slow. Look, it's that one orc that... Bilbo had no need stabbing in the movie. It was just a dream. Just a dream. But what an adventure. Exactly. Something Tukish took into him. Despite his fear, Tukish woke up. something awoke within Bilbo. He wanted to visit distant lands, explore caves, and carry a sword instead of a walking and stick. And LARP in full out To his own astonishment, Bilbo agreed to go. Yeah, he hit his head and they convinced him. I mean, that's not fair. That's not fair at all. Oh, geez. How, how, this opening part can... There's a lot of side quests. I mean, oh, morning, Mr. what's wrong with you? That won't convince Thorin that you're a fierce burglar. Hm. I'll show him if I have to walk to the east of east and fight the wild wereworms in the last desert. <laughs> well, now you'll just have to walk to the green dragon. Obscure. The dwarves are waiting. But get no time for it, and no time to pack. Just fetch your walking stick. 
Who knows where you will end up today? <laughs> that weird eating noise. Okay, you can press a button that's not on my controller. Yeah, there's not a button like that. Okay, there you go. Yeah, again, it's an off-brand controller. Whoops! I remember exploring the house was very useful. No time for that. I need to go meet the dwarves. Come on, it's like second, third breakfast brenner. It's like my favorite time to eat. Yeah, we got like this adventuring thing we pick up. There we go. Yes, my quarter staff. Walking stick, but notice that it's like built for a human and not a not a hobbit by any means. Yeah, we're not going to get that sword for much later. Okay, green dragon in. What's this? My pocket has sprouted a hole. Oh, my silver pennies must be scattered all over Hobbiton. Oh yeah, that just explains why it's scattered all over Hobbiton in every other part of the game. Is that like an explanation of like, I'm not stealing, it was totally in my pocket? Yep, those are save points, which totally looks like plants here's. Yay, silver pennies can be exchanged. Potions, yeah, for healing. Look, chickens. Can I beat the cuckoos? Okay, it's not Legend of Zelda. Yeah, so these gems can be anywhere. I'm not, I'm not planning any sense of 100% for this. I'm just here for the ride. I'm not even going to push myself with an upload schedule for this. I'm just here to enjoy a really old game. I guess to get Hobbit nerdy? That doesn't sound right at all. If you guys like it, we'll continue. I was thinking about Blue Roarer 2. You know all about Blue Roarer 2, don't you? No, Exposition? Yes. Great, great, great. He was quite an adventurous Hobbit. Won the Battle of the Greenfields, he did. Oh wow. The Goblin King's head clean off the wooden club. Sailed through the air and went right down a rabbit hole. Well, that's <laughs> where we got the game of golf. Mm-hmm. So I've heard. Ah, Bull Roarer too. I wish you young people knew more of your histories. Okay, that was exposition in which Gandalf in the book decides to tell Bilbo about an ancestor of his that invented golf, which was clearly a little uh, embellished. Do all of them just have exposition from the book? Beautiful day, isn't it? Good day, Gamma. I seem to have lost my quilting needle somewhere in town. If you find it, could you please bring it to me? Certainly, Gamma. You know what? I've never done any of these side quests in town. So, quilting needle. I'm hungry. It's almost noon, and I've only had two breakfasts. <laughs> There's a lovely sea cake cooling in my windowsill. I think I'll head home for a morsel before lunch. Good, good for you. Seed cake? What? Bilbo Baggins, I saw your visitor. Are you meddling with wizards? Sure. Wizards are meddling with me. <laughs> Another lad going off into the blue for mad adventures. You might as well be some use before you go. Fetch my butter churn, please. Where is it? It's in the shed round the corner. Just place the butter churn oh, on man. the porch when you find it. What, okay, I, is, do I get good things for any of this? I need a butter turner. I guess the guy asked for a seed cake and someone... That clearly looks like a good go over there. Someone wants a sewing needle. Okay, got it. I got my grocery, grocery list. I think this is the only time in game that it keeps asking for random stuff. I saw a dwarf wandering around town. Did you see him? A beard so long he tucked it into his belt. Yep. He was dressed so outlandishly. He must have gotten lost on his way to Bree. Yeah, this is more like British people being uptight about how people look. I guess doors would be unkept to them. Why am I trying to like explain this? There's probably no reason. They're just nosy people. I guess. They clearly want me to go up there. Let me go up there. Can I, like, helicopter? 
There's no double jump. Yay! The green ones are more valuable than the red ones. I guess. I just glitched out. Yeah, there's like only like five of them. Spells on the crops? I thought everyone enjoyed him for his fireworks. The funny thing about the crops, they're... Oh, I guess this was the intended way to do it. I've been so foolish. Yeah, uh, the funny thing about crops is that there was, um, not Hobbit Lord of the Rings, uh, Lego, but there was Lego, Lego Lord of the Rings, and they got in trouble for trying to incorporate pumpkins. Hey, Wanna play some hide and seek? Yeah, I'll hide from you too. We'll go hide. You seek. Oh man, Ready? Come, come on. You ugly, ugly Hobbit pixels. Children. Okay, that wasn't... Everyone wants me to do their gosh darn uh, busy work today. Did it reset all these items? The cutscene did something funny. Yeah, but uh, they got in trouble for trying to have pumpkins in it, which you can actually see pumpkins inside... Um, Lego Dimensions Lord of the Rings and they never brought that up but like that's why you can't get uh, that on like Xbox One. Look puzzle solving. Do you have... what? Throw a stone? Okay. No. Oh I gotta pick up some stones. Okay. Oh no. This again? I guess I'm knocking apples down. That is a 2D apple, my friend. And then it becomes 3D when it hits the ground. That's dumb. Get me out of. It totally looked. Okay, I acquired an apple. I have no idea what I do with apples. I did. Someone wants an apple pie or something. Do I give it to the the one that wanted, wanted food? Oh, and it changes color when it knows it's going to hit something. You have to be close? Or no. Or it's like, hey, dude, you got a 50-50 shot at this one. Okay, okay, we've learned something. Okay, if we got nothing but a shepherd's rod and rocks. I didn't even know that was a quest. We got the shepherd's rod in rocks. Are we, Daniel? Are we gonna fight a Goliath? Whatever one of them's can be. I saw a guy over here. It's one of the kids. I found you. Uh -huh. You found me. Next time, I'll find a better hiding place. Please don't. Please don't. We're getting a lot of not experience, but something. Yeah, I just want this to be pretty chill. I knock on your door. No time for that. I need to go meet the dwarves at the Green Dragon Inn. Okay. But I wanted my second Brenner's lunches breakfast bar mitzvah. That's a hobbit food, right? Oh, we're a hobbit time to eat. The bridge is out. But I need to really? get to the other side. I could fix it, but I'll need my hammer and nails. Fetch me hammer. I saw Carl playing with it up by the What? Waterfall. There are some jars in the mill. You'll have to break them open to get the nails. Bring back me hammer and nails and I'll fix the bridge. Okay, you can do it with one nail. Do you see that insane level of distance? No, we're in a mill. I'm saving. This is old saves. Yeah. Um, 
Maybe I'll split it from there, I don't know. I'm just being chill today. <laughs> it's a hobbit thing to do to be chill, okay? Uh, yep, those are the big daddies. You want them, gems? For... I don't even remember what the benefit is. Do you get health? Okay, I required nails. From Dragon Ball? Nail? Pretty for sure that's in Piccolo right now. Well, it wouldn't be me trying to platform if all my efforts didn't go to nod. Can I make this jump? I guess not. Oh man, cut until I actually get there. Thought there was something further we can get up there, huh? How we get up there? Bilbo! I know you're not an Olympic athlete. You're not a parkour artist like... Uh -huh. Maybe there's a different way to get up there. Parkour artist like uh, Raz was, but dude... I think this is how we do it, right? It's always the windmill, the watermill. Found you, punk. You're, you're in a butt whoop when you get home. Don't be playing in a mill. Don't tell your mommy and daddy about that one. Dude. I guess if you do all the side quests, I guess they get you very prepared for the rest of the game. Huh. Hopefully, that's a good sign for... What kind of game we're playing here and rewards us for our efforts. Except for there. There is nothing to be rewarded. Find you, are you one of the kids? My children insist I tell them all about the dragons. Where did they ever hear of such creatures? Mm -hmm. Respectable hobbits don't discuss such things. I've been talking with a uh, certain buddy of uh, ours, didn't they? Look at fish. They're like big as hobbits. Remember, you don't want to fall in the water simply because water platforming is a no-no. So how much just for doing that right without falling? Like every stone has some... Oh, I fell. Had s You don't want to press the button to go up. You want to just point up. Everything has something and I have to be the collectathonist. Keep telling myself, hey, you know what? I'm not getting it all. Don't bother. And I'm like, but it's shiny. Anybody watched uh, Demon X D, D campaign? But 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 it's magic. It's just a funny line. That's a lot of pennies. Silver pennies. Can't really go up there. Why am I doing this? Why would hobbits travel up stuff like this? More parkour! That fell. <laughs> Ooh, what is that up there? Tell me about them. I think they regenerate your health, but what would have hurt us so far? Okay, weird. Man, Bilbo, what have you been doing if you dropped all of your pennies? Uh, it doesn't look like you want to go. That is clearly just a 2D texture. Oh, because I took took damage there from fall fall damage, man. I hate fall damage. It's my least favorite damage next to maybe fire. 
Okay. Gonna have to need, do I need to have my back to it? No. Okay, I need to be facing forward. I need to get the mechanics, because not every game when you swing on a rope is the same. Sometimes you have to be facing backwards because that clearly makes the most sense. Sometimes you have to swing. This is clearly not a swinging one. It's facing forward. Because I just clipped through Pardon it. Me, Carl. Do you have your father's hammer? He needs it to fix the bridge. Here it is, Mr. Baggins. I'll have to find something else to play with. Why are you playing with hammers, kid? You've been fiddling around with too many dwarves. I got a health potion. Neat. Aww. Let's take two. Oh. Playing with hammers, man. What? Because dwarves use hammers. Oh, a bunch of dwarves came in my neighborhood, so I started playing with my father's war hammer. Actually, play war hammer. Good. Yep, that's healing. Bilbo has to eat shrooms to heal. Come on, guys. It could have been anything. It could have been cakes. Cupcakes. I'm not for sure how you get up there, then. I'm stumped like those three over there. Stumped. It's funny. Laugh. Laugh. Yeah, I'm not for sure how to get over there. I'm not going to be too worried. Let's go get the hammer. We haven't seen any of the other stuff that the people wanted us, like a cake and um, swim. Just walking at the bottom of the little pond here. I don't know if this is faster, but it was more um, satisfying. Oh no, the bridge is out. Okay, dude, the bridge is out. I got your hammer and your nails from your kid, and you really need to not let him play with those. Dude, bad example of... Sure, I'll, ta I'll take that. That was weird. Bad example of my son. I took so much fall damage. Good Yo, punk. This shouldn't take long. And always they build bridges quick. Good is leave. Okay. That's clearly the Green Dragon Inn. Where's... Hello, Bilbo. We still need sure. more supplies for our journey. If you happen to find any provisions, bring them back to me. All right. I found apples. Before I ought to. Yo, dude, what's up? Good day to you, Mr. Baggins. Hello, Hillman. That's it. Don't like you, Hillman. Hillman? Whoever you are, you're on my list. When I come back as a mighty king, proven in battle, you'll be the first to fall by my blade. <laughs> those scarecrows are useless. Look at those crows sitting there mocking me. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll give you a sack of wheat I, if you get rid of those crows. I would mock you. Ah, very well. Oh no, it's battle training. course. It's got to get personal. Okay, they don't interact with that. Nice. Nice. Not like I have anger issues here today. Get off. Shoo, shoo. No one likes crows. There we goes. There's a maze. I can't jump over because you know why. Collect the berries in the garden. Rotten badges. Oh no. I'm clearly supposed to. Am I not supposed to get caught? Oh, it's because he's burglarizing. That's not the way you say that. Burglarizing. Are there badgers? I mean, to be honest, um, Pokemon set in Britain, Galar. So are we talking about Obstagoon and the gang? 
That's pretty cool if we are. Talk to me. You're looking a little thin, Bilbo. You don't want to waste away, do you? Oh, uh -huh. are you suggesting to make me food? Just say, you know, when, when ladies, especially single ones, start commenting about stuff like that, that normally means that they care about you in some capacity. I like it like I know. But you get, get it? It's because hobbits eat all the time. <laughs> You're too good at this game. No, I'm not. Your parents are mad and they want you home now for supper, little boy. There's the kid. Kids play hide and seek. It's the complete opposite of what any parent really wants you to do. Because if a, a normal parent, you know, one, wants to keep you in one piece, and that normally means keep an eye on you. Hide and seek becomes the biggest problem. Oh no, Legend of Zelda. They're mad. What do I gotta do? What do I do? Cuckoo, cachoo. They kill me? What? They killed me. Bring back the hammer and nail. They killed me. <laughs> okay, I have to do a big cut. Like, maybe this is where I in the video. Who knows? <laughs> 